Welcome to a further video of the XKP tutorials. In this video, you will learn more about moving your existing XKP license and configuration on a new hardware or virtual machine. First of all, you should back up your existing configuration of the old XKP installation by exporting the configuration from the registry database of Windows. Please note that this only works within 32-bit or 64-bit operating systems. An export and import of 32-bit to 64-bit operating systems or vice versa does not work. You can find out in the Windows control panel if you have a 32-bit or 64-bit operating system. Open the Windows Registry Editor using the command RecEdit. Use the keyname HKeyLocalMachine, System, Current Control Set, Services, XCAPI, Configuration, and then select Export. Please be sure to observe the correct path of the key name. Then fix the export range to selected branch. We also recommend you to back up your old hardware ID and your LOD key. You can read out your previously used hardware ID in your XKP configuration. Start the XCAPI configuration and change the view to Expert mode. Under Licenses in the Hardware tab you will get the option to copy the hardware ID. Please use the copy and paste function to avoid typing errors. You have received the LOD key from us via email after purchase and also immediately after the activation of the license. In this email, you will also find the previously used hardware ID. If you do not find the LOD key, our licensing team can determine it with the help of the hardware ID used previously. Now install the XCAPI on your new hardware. If you have a valid software upgrade service, you should download the latest XCAPI version directly in our community. If you don't have a valid software upgrade service, you can access all versions until the expiration of the software upgrade service. If you do not know if you have a valid software upgrade service, you can find the expiration date in the XCAPI configuration from version 3.4 under Licenses. For further information, our sales will assist you with this question. Start the installation process on your new hardware. At the end of the installation, it is useful to deactivate the function Configure the XCAPI now and make sure that the XCAPI configuration is not running. After the installation, reopen the Windows Registry Editor with the command RecEdit and import the saved XCAPI configuration. The correct path of the key name is set automatically. Then open the XCAPI configuration and change the view to Expert mode. Under Controller, you can check that the previous configuration of the XCAPI has been adopted. However, as the network address of the previously configured controller has now changed and by importing the old registry data the old network address is entered, you must change the setting from User Defined on your current network address here. Save the current settings. Then delete under Licenses the license acquired from the old installation. 
Start the licensing wizard and select Request a license from a license on demand server. In the next step, use your existing LOD key. A detailed description of the individual steps can be found in our respective learning video. If the license on demand server is not available, you can generate your license file with another computer. Afterwards, you can use the full range of services of your XCAPI on the new hardware. If the license on demand server does not accept the LOD key, our sales department will be happy to help. Just write us your previously used LOD key and, if possible, your previously used hardware ID.